Hello friends, welcome to Brain Scoop channel. This is my new video and our today's topic is Generations of CT Scan or Computed Tomography Scan. CT scanners have gone through a number of design changes since the technology was first introduced in 1971. Scan time reduction is the predominant reason for introducing new configurations. Thus, for reducing the scan times, different generations of CT were introduced. We will discuss geometry of design in five categories. The first one is the first generation in which translate rotate motion was used and only one detector was used. The second generation in which translate rotate motion again is used but multiple detectors were used. In third generation the motion was rotate rotate and in the fourth generation the motion was rotate fixed and in both of them multiple detectors were used. There are also several other geometries which we will discuss in this video. Let us start with the original EMI scanner or first generation CT. The original EMI unit was the first generation scanner. The diagram is given here. Employed a pencil like x-ray beam and a single detector that is one detector per tomographic section. Five view study of head took about 25 to 30 minutes was dis designed specifically for the evaluation of brain. Gantry moved through two different types of motion, one linear and other rotatory. Linear motion was repeated over and over 180 times. Between each of these 180 linear movements, the gantry rotated 1 degree. Thus, the total rotatory motion encompassed a 180 degree semicircle. The axis of rotation passed through the center of the patient's head because by, through first generation scanners only head can be evaluated or imaged. The x-ray beam was on throughout the linear movements and off during the rotatory movements. The total number of transmission measurements was the product of the lumber, number of linear measurements that is 160 and rotatory steps that is 180 which was 28,800 in the original EMI scanner. The transmission reading represented a composite of the absorption characteristics of all elements in the path of the beam. This is the first CT image taken by the first generation scanner, obviously of the brain. Cross-sectional layer of the body is represented in the image matrix like this. Each square of the matrix is called the pixel. This is and it represents a tiny block of tissue known as the voxel. So the picture element is the picture and the volume element is the, uh, the picture element is the pixel and the volume element is the voxel. Let us talk about the second generation CT. The main objective for its development was to shorten the scanning time for each tomographic section. This was achieved by abandoning the single detector and pencil beam of the original EMI scanner and adopting a fan shaped beam. And the movement of the X-ray detectors, X-ray tube detector array was both linear and rotatory just like first generation scanners but the rotatory steps are larger. So there are some similarities and some difference between the second generation and the first generation CT. In first generation CT, the pencil beam and single detector was used whereas in the second generation CT, a fan beam and multiple detectors are used and like first generation scanner, the movement of the second generation CT was translate rotate that is linear and rotatory motions. But instead of moving one degree at the e at the end of the each linear scan, the gantry rotates through a greater arc up to 30 degree, thus reducing the scan time. With 30 detectors, the linear movements only have to be repeated 6 times rather than 180 linear movements of the original EMI unit. Second generation scanners produce a tomographic section in between 10 and 90 seconds depending on the manufacturer. The other advantage of second generation CT other than reducing the imaging time is that thorax can also be imagined. Yes, in first generation CT only the brain could be imaged or imagined but in the second generation CT thorax can also be imagined. By adding detectors angularly displays several projections could be obtained in single transition. In single translation. 
now let us talk about the third generation ct whose example is given here introduced by general electric company or ge in 1975 in which complete translation motion was eliminated only rotatory motion was required with both x radio and the detector rotating around the patient so this is the patient this is the x-ray tube and this is the detector so they are both rotating the scanning geometry came to be known as the fan beam geometry or the third generation geometry and the original unit could produce a scan in 4.9 seconds multiple detectors are aligned along the arc of circle whose center is x-ray tube focal spot both the x-ray tube and detec detectors rotate around the patient in rotate rotate geometry in concentric circles whose centers approximately coincide with the center of the patient. Detectors may vary in number from 288 from the original to 700 in the modern equipments. The fan beam must be completely covered the object to be imaged. In the original rotate rotate scanners, the x-ray tube was pulsed. Each pulse of the tube produced one projection and the number of scan lines in each projection was equal to the number of detectors. In some rotate rotate scanners, the x-ray tube is continuously on and individual projections are obtained by reading the output of the detectors at rapid intervals. Let us not confuse ourselves with the term CT image, projections and line. So what is the difference between the CT image, projections and line is given below. The CT image is the image of one CT slice that is viewed on the TV monitor or on film. Images or the image is computed from many projections. A projection is produced each time the detector is read. Therefore, the data contained in a projection is a set of reading composed of original signal from each detector that has been exposed to the X-ray beam. We describe the data collected from one exposed detector as a line or scan line. So, a scan line, many scan lines can produce a projection and many projections produce an CT image. Now let us talk about the fourth generation CT scanners which is rotate fixed. Why it is called fixed? Because in this only the X-ray tube is rotating and the detectors are stationary. Detectors form a ring that completely surround the patient and they do not move. The X-ray tube rotates in a circle inside the detector ring and the X-ray beam is collimated to form a fan beam. When the X-ray tube is at pre-prescribed angles, the exposed detectors are read. One CT scan will be made up to many projections, each projection taken at a slightly different angle and that is why continuous on X-ray tubes are generally used today. So the basic difference between the third generation and the fourth generation CT scan is that the number one in third generation scanners only rotate rotate motion was used that means the detectors and the tube both are moving but in fourth generation CD scanners the only the x-ray tube is moving and the detectors forms a ring and they are stationary the detector in a fan beam array have their individual collimators most scattered photons are observed are absorbed by these collimators the advantage of the fan beam multiple detector array is speed reduced to few seconds one principal disadvantage of the fan beam is the increased amount of scattered radiation. So this is the fourth generation in which the detector forms a ring around the patient and only this X-ray tube is moving. Other scan configurations, yeah, other geometries. This include, but it is not limited to the fifth generation that is Cine TV, CCTV, sixth generation that is spiral CT or helical CT, seventh generation con cone beam CT and multi slice CT. Let us start let us study about the spiral CT or helical CT design. X-ray tube rotates as patient is moved smoothly into X-ray scan field. Simultaneous source rotation, table translation and data acquisition produces one continuous volume set of data for entire region. Data for multiple slices from patient is required at one second per slice. Three technological developments, slip ring gannetry design, very high power X-ray tubes and interpolation algorithms to handle projection data. 
continuous rotation of x-ray tube and detectors and simultaneous translation of patient through the gantry opening slip rings are circular electrical conductive rings and brushes which transmit electrical energy across the moving interface it allows scan frame to rotate continuously with no need to stop between rotations to rewind cable systems interpolation methods developed by calendar are used to generate projections in a single plane the overlapping sections generated by math not beam improves z axis with no increase in dose which helps in improving image quality so the slip rings used in the helical or spiral ct allows the continuous rotation of the x ray tube without tangling of cables thus the wear and tear of the tubes sorry of the cables used in the scanner can be reduced or can be stopped and thus the scan time is also reduced in spiral or helical ct due to the slip ring technology pitch in helical ct pitch is the ratio of the patient's movement through the gantry during a one th- 360 degree rotation related to the beam collimation for single slice ct pitch is equal to the table movement per rotation divided by slice collimation on most ct and pet ct systems the pitch is entered as a parameter that is set in defining the procedure for the acquisition of patient data when the pitch is greater than 1 mm there are interspaces created and some portion of the body is being missed so when the pitch is smaller than 1 the beam width has some overlap at each view angle from rotation to rotation like this when the pitch is equal to 1 no overlap of the beam at each view angle and no view angles not covered a certain table portion and the, when the pitch is greater than 1 like this some view angles are not covered by the beam width at certain table positions advantages of spiral ct faster ac- image acquisition quicker response to contrast media fewer motion artifacts improved to axis resolution psych physiological imaging improved coronal sagittal and 3d imaging less partial volume artifact now let us talk about the seven generation ct it is a new technology to overcome the limitations of single row detectors hence it has multiple detector array collimator spacing is wider and more of the x ray produced by the x-ray tube are used in producing image data so multiple rows of detectors are used in seven generation ct now let us talk about the multi slice ct relates to the technique of double or triple rotation of the tube and detectors around the same axial plane provides double or triple the volume per slice upon which the final image can be derived in practice each rotation produces its own bank of raw data multi scanning therefore reduces motion artifacts and consequently improves image quality development in software and computer capacity led to processing and reconstruction in a short time so this picture shows the role of the collimator in mdct this is pre collimation and this is post collimation next is multiple this is multiple detector array multiple detector array illustration and this is image showing comparison of different geometrical generation so there there are the differences between all the generations which we have read so far the first generation the source is single x ray tube source collimation is pencil beam and detector used is single in second generation single x ray tube fan beam and detectors used were multiple in third generation single x ray tube fan beam and many detectors in fourth generation single x ray tube fan beams covers fov and detectors stationary ring of detectors in fifth generation many tungsten anodes in single large tube fan beam and stationary ring of detectors in sixth generation 3g 4g source collimation is also 3g 4g and detector is also 3g 4g and in seventh the single x ray tube cone beam and multiple array of detectors 
if you have any questions regarding this video please comment down below and if you like this video please like and share and do subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update thank you